Let me read you this one more time because it's so shocking to hear this. Every man according as he purposes in his heart. And that applies to you. You decide in your heart how much you want to give or if you want to at all. You might decide you don't want to give in a particular offering. That's okay. God doesn't get mad about that. God's perfectly happy with it. You can. God loves you not based on what you give, but just based on His love for you. If you never gave in another offering again, God would love you just as much and He would bless you just as much. However, the truth is, the nature of a Christian is that a Christian is a charitable person because we've got the life of Christ. You know, God is the biggest giver there ever was. Uh, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. You know, God gave before we ever did anything about it. God gave to us first. And so if we have the life and nature of God on the inside, we're by nature givers. And we want to give. And we want to be generous. And we want to help people out. But you know, the thing that holds us back and the thing that, uh, that, that's, that stifles us is the sense of lack or the sense that we don't have enough. And you know what? God wants you to have enough to pay your bills. And I think, uh, this is just my opinion, I think you ought to pay your bills before you give them the offering. I think you ought to take care of your family before you think about the church. I think those things are a higher priority that you paying your bills and being responsible for your own bills. You need to take care of those things first and take care of your family first. You need to have an abundance above what you need and give out of your abundance. Now let me go on reading to you the next verse. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. Listen carefully what Paul says after saying that everybody, you purpose in your own heart what to give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. By the way, that just means a free giver. Like this, freely you have received, freely give. God gives to you first and you give out of that. Freely you have received. God loves a free giver. Cheerful means freely. The next verse says, And God is able to make all grace. You notice how Paul keeps using the word grace when talking about giving. God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, might abound to every good work. What he's saying is that God will cause abundance to come to you so that you will have an abundance so that you can give to, to charitable giving out of your abundance. Now, in case that wasn't clear to you, let me read it to you from the Amplified Translation. The Amplified Translation says, And God is able to make all grace, that is, every favor and earthly blessing, come to you in abundance so that you may always, under all circumstances and whatever the need, be self-sufficient possessing enough to require no aid, no support, and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. Now notice that Paul didn't say, if you give in the offering, God will do this. He just said, God will do this just because He's God. And he calls it grace. Grace is what God does for you that you don't deserve. You know, we don't deserve this kind of favor from God. And notice the way it works. God wants to give to you first and make you have an abundance first so that you have enough for all of your needs and you can be self-sufficient, requiring no aid or support. And then out of that abundance, you have enough to give out of your uh, overflow for every good work and charitable donation. Well, you might say, what do I need to do to get God to bless me that way? Well, the same thing you need to do uh, for anything that you want from God. Just believe. You know, only believe. Um, I, I like a man named Smith Wigglesworth. Uh, I've read about him and uh, read his sermons. I found something Smith Wigglesworth said in 1925 that I like. He says, I find so many people trying to help themselves. What God wants from us is absolute cling to Him. God has only one grand plan for us. And here it is. Only believe you are brought into everything God has for you because you simply dare to believe what He says. God would have me press this into your heart. A living truth. Only believe absolute rest perfect tranquility where God is absolutely taking charge of the whole situation. So what I'm suggesting to you is that you believe what God says in His Word, what the Apostle Paul has written. I'm suggesting to you that you believe God is causing favor to come your way. God is causing abundance to come your way. God is giving you favor on your job. God is giving you favor in your employment. God is blessing everything you set your hand to. That I want you to believe that. That God is blessing you in every way, shape, and form, every part and aspect of your life so that you can have an abundance. And out of that abundance, let every man, according as he purposes, in his heart, so let him give. Do you know that in these two chapters, 
chapters, uh, 2 Corinthians 8 and 9, two chapters devoted to the subject of money and giving. Paul never once tells the Corinthians you are required to give anything. He never once tells them you're required to give 10%. He never once tells them you're required to tithe. You know, tithing was something that was required of Israel under the Old Testament, but it's not required of Christians in the church. Now let me go on reading uh, in verse 10. This is another good verse I want to leave with you before I uh, conclude today. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Uh, it says, he that ministers seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. That's God that does that. It says God gives you seed for the sowing. That means uh, what you give in the offering. Paul likens it in a metaphor to sowing seed. God gives you that out of an abundance. And he says, God also gives you bread for your food. That means He gives you what you need to consume for yourself, for your needs. See, every one of us has needs in our life. Every one of us has bills to pay. Every one of us has things we have to take care of. And guess what? God knows about that, and He wants you to have enough to take care of all your needs. And not only that, He wants you to have more than enough so you can not only take care of your own requirements for your own life, but have so much abundance that you can be free in your giving and follow the inclinations of your heart and be generous. Uh, now let me read you that verse. I love what it says in the Message Translation. I'm a great fan of the Message, and I like uh, uh, the Message Translation a lot. Let me read you that same verse. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, beginning in verse 10. This most generous God, who gives us seed, who gives seed to the farmer, that becomes bread for your meals, is more than extravagant with you. He gives you something that you can then give away which grows into full-formed lives, robust in God, wealthy in every way, so that you can be generous in every way, producing with us great praise to God. So if I could sum up what Paul is saying in these two chapters, and again, let me recommend to you that you read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, and see what Paul has to say. And notice that Paul couches everything he has to say in the grace of God. Again, when we talk about the grace of God, grace is what God does for you that you don't deserve. Grace is what God does for you just because He's God. See, we respond in our Christian life. We respond to God's grace. Secondly, I want you to notice this, that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 7, Paul tells us the way we determine how and when to give and how much to give is we determine in our own heart. You decide for yourself. Just like I decided for myself which tie to put on today, you decide for yourself how much and when and how, and how often that you give and to whom you give. It's your decision. It's all up to you. Um, and God wants you to do it freely with no compulsion, no necessity, no feeling that you have to do it. And not only that, God's able to make all grace abound towards you, every favor and earthly blessing, so that you have an abundance. See, God's plan is this, that He blesses you so much in your life that you have more than you need and you have more than enough to give to every charitable donation, every charitable giving that you want to do. To be free with your money just as you're free with every other favor in your life.